Hey everyone. So I'm back home. We did our little marriage retreat on. But um I'm not gonna make too much of a stink about things. Um I do have my seafood. It's not my typical because I love male crabs, but only crabs that I could find in the area was female. So, you know, I just said, let me just go with the flow of things, and this is what things look like. Mm -hmm. Over in here, we got crabs going on over there. Hey, y'all. Hey! <laughs> There's my baby. I'm not from the A, y'all. I'm from Philadelphia. I just got the hat. That's all. Don't get it messed up. Uh, oh, oh, you coming to it's join us? Just a us? land of bread. Yes, I am. Oh, he coming to join us, y'all. Cause guess what? He was like, no, I ain't <gasps> coming. I just want, I just <gasps> want to eat my food. I just want, look, I just, want, I don't want to be bothered. So, you see me push that over real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I push that over real quick. So, on some real stuff, I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm keep it all the way a hundred. I don't really have a preference to eat female crabs. It's just my preference. I'm I'm not knocking anyone who loves it and enjoys it, but that's just my preference. But honestly, I've been cra oh my god, I've been craving crabs so bad. <coughs> so with me craving the crabs, I said, you know what? I'm gonna just go with the flow. Because everywhere we looked, nobody had what we was looking for. So, this is what we got. Okay? So, we just going to rock out with what we got. And I ain't going to hold you. We also got a little bit of malt liquor going on, too. Um, we just going to do what we do. Alright? I hope you and y'all enjoy it. Again, if y'all haven't received that little message that I sent out earlier, I want to thank y'all for the ones who subscribe. Um, I appreciate the lovely comments that I've been receiving. I really do. I don't think I think I had one crazy looking comment, but other than that, yeah, one crazy comment. Listen. My whole thing is this, man. You all like, you know, we said, I'm going to stay in. Everybody don't like it, but you don't have to be ignorant and just send some old blatant, disrespectful stuff out. Just don't respond, you know. Same thing with me. If I didn't like what somebody put out, I'm not going to respond. It's not okay, whatever. But I guess, you, you know, you got some people that go through the extreme. But I know you can't control what people do, what people say, what they see. You know what I'm saying? With me, I'm just a friendly person. I don't mean no harm to nobody on here. It's, this is all out of fun, y'all. All, all the fun and love and stuff. That's all. Mm -hmm. So, I did put it up. I'm not really too good with eating female crabs and stuff, y'all. <laughs> it's funny because I had told him, this is how I got him to eat the crabs. I was like, listen. I said, babe, I kind of feel like I tainted your mindset to eating female crabs. I said, I had such a disliking, which I still do, to eating a female crab. Mm -hmm. But that's just out of my preference, you know? Mm -hmm. I know the difference. I'll tell you one thing. I'm eating these lays on here. These things is juicy. But our crab place that we go to all the time, they always remind us, like, let me tell you something. Everybody always be asking about the females. <laughs> People love females. Me, personally, it's just a lot of work. Mmm, mmm, look good, mm. So, I'm gonna open one up. Let me open this up. Ooh, my flow. Stinging a little bit. Mm. I see. So, this is what that female is looking like. Ooh. 
This one ain't too bad. This one ain't too bad. Okay, okay. Huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Can you tell it? Mm. Mm. Can you tell the difference in this one, per se? Notice the difference here. Yeah. <clears throat> These are the sand crabs. Mm. You said that's a good thing. You said that's a bad thing. Ain't it? Yeah. Mmm. Deep, deep. Not. Mm. Oh man. Mmm. Mm. Not everyone will recognize stuff like that. But these are the sand crab. Ooh, you know what a sand crab is? Educate us. What is a sand crab? Mm. Educate me. I'm a, mm, oh my God. What's that? A sand crab. These crabs that are in the northern states and what, huh? Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I gotta keep it real with y'all. I had a piece of I had a piece of crab stuck in my teeth. But I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. What are saying for that bit? So on the East Coast, you know, you got places like Atlanta and places in other parts of New Jersey. With crabs are big and popping, we uh, you still could catch a crab at. But what happens then? Mm -hmm. In cold weather, you know what they do? Mm -hmm. They hide under the sand. This is okay, but you know what happens when they hide under the sand? When the fishermen catch them, um, they get the crabs that have sand in them. So, this is what we have. This is these are sand crabs. So, at the end of the day, crabs are good, but you could say sand in them because, and then, like I said. Mm. Not that it's bad. It doesn't taste bad. It just it's still a lot of sand in it. The reality is this. The place we got our crab from. Mm -hmm. They really probably don't have to deal with this that often. Mm -hmm. These are delicious. I can tell you that much. They do taste pretty good. 
Even for them to be a little sand, sand crack. Sand crack, yeah, they glisten. I don't think it matters. If it was in the Bahamas, it does it. Mm-hmm. It ain't good to me. Right about now. Even though I'm hungry, y'all. I'm hungry. You can taste the sand. Yeah, it's taste the sand. You can taste the sand. It's like I'm in Atlantic City. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't too bad, though. Mm-hmm. It, ain't, it ain't unbearable. Yeah, yeah. Because it can be to the point where it's like, oh, no, I can't do mm-hmm. it. But it ain't that bad. These are the sand. These are definitely the sand crabs. Mm-hmm. So, once again, we would like to thank everyone. Yep. You subscribe to our page. Mm-hmm. Cause we know you didn't have to. There's gonna be more different foods, different type of different stuff every day, y'all. I know y'all probably look at it, you know, the crabs. Crabs again. You know. But some of some of the people it's love it. And we don't wanna leave y'all out on anything that we do. We eat, that's all. We eat and we love these crabs. When we went away. We got no crabs. We had no crab, and we looked for places that had crab. Mm-hmm. Nobody had it. But nobody had any. This is our favorite. We can go for what we know. Mm-hmm. But we truly thank all of the people that have subscribed. Mm-hmm. Y'all are great. Yep. The open minds and hearts we tackle on any suggestions mm-hmm. in the comments. Mm. All we ask of you to keep it decent. Mm-hmm. Everybody been great. Everybody been so positive, and that's what it's about. Because before I started doing a little video, my thing was like, if I ain't like a person, I just ain't subscribe, and I kept them moving. <laughs> what I will never begin to understand is people that subscribe to people. And don't really like them. Like, why Why do that? Yeah. It makes no sense, but... People do it on a regular... I was thinking a little bit. Ooh. What's the crab look like? Not bad. Not bad at all. So, Tuesday is Valentine's Day. Kind of trying to figure out what we're going to do. It's V Day, y'all. Tuesday. It's V Day. So hopefully y'all, hopefully y'all will get to spend it with the ones who really matter to y'all, the people who yeah. we y'all love. Yeah. Ain't gotta be your man. Ain't gotta be your husband. You just need to be somebody that y'all care about and love. I hope it's her husband. I hope it's his wife. Hope you know, but I mean, if it's a friend or someone you feel a little, um, you know, attracted to, or feel some connection there. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, we don't know what strange stuff going on. That's a big one, too. You know, but I'm not Dr. Phil, y'all. I'm not Dr. Love. My middle name is Love, but I'm not neither one. His middle, did you know my husband's middle name was Love? Yeah, sometimes I forget. At my age now, sometimes I forget my middle name is Love. I don't know if it's a title I got to hold up or something I got to live up to. Something that you got to live up to. Because 
always thought they was real creative. And I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, the middle name is Love. Mm-hmm. Love. Casting over. Do all the right things to say. And he said all the right things. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I guess all of us got to work on saying it and, and you know, keep, it, keep the cycle going. You know, I'm getting old, man. I don't want to pay my own age and stuff. I still got to keep everything vibrant, man. And my wife know I still love her just as much as I hope she loves me. Yep. Yeah, and everything ain't always physical all the time, y'all. It's, it's not, it's just not going to be all that all the time. You know, we've grown, grown through a lot of time and stuff and been out here and stuff and realize that, you know, that stuff is not going to hold water. You know, yeah. what a person looks like or how much they can do for you. And you know, and I'm not no prophet or preacher, but you know, experience is the key. Only you want to experience and realize that, you know, you can't make nobody happy. They got to be happy within themselves in order to deal with you. You know, so just always keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. It, may, it may fall out, but they got to push it back in there. You know, you can't be happy with nobody unless you're happy with yourself. Yeah. You know, that's just uh-huh. how it goes. Don't be trying to kick too much knowledge. <laughs> hmm? I said, don't be trying to kick too much knowledge. <laughs> you schooling the folk. No, I'm not schooling these people. They all know that. They all know that. You know. But sometimes we need reminders of that. Yeah, we need reminders, y'all. So on Tuesday, we plan on doing something real special. So I'm assuming, look, this is the this is that orange stuff. I would say I don't even want to talk about it. Never mind. Me. <laughs> All right, you know what I'm gonna talk about? <laughs> I think that was the stuff that produces the baby. It show you where the baby was and all. Mm. No, but kind of remind me. So while we was away, couldn't find any seafood. Mm-hmm. And trust me, you look. Had to wait to come back home, y'all, to find some. You know, we know where I can next that, you know, around where we live at. You know, that's never a problem. Exactly. You gotta come back there at home. But everywhere else, it was like, mm mm. We about to fade out of here, you know. Yeah, not not by thing. not by choice, but because we had to. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna be quite honest with you. If we extend any, if we extend this video any longer, it take like five days for us to upload it. <laughs> I'm yeah, exaggerating. You know, the longer you go, the more longer it, you know it, it, it takes time for it to to pop up on there and stuff. So we gotta like learn our limits and stuff. And how much time mm. we got, you know. But we still got a lot of um crap to go. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah, so we gotta learn our limits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we gotta learn our limits. Again, thanks everyone for mm-hmm. subscribing. Keep subscribing. Mm-hmm. Tell your friends about it. <laughs> Love y'all. Love y'all. Peace out. Peace out.